How acupuncture works for acute and chronic pain. Uh, we're going to look first at the analgesic effects of acupuncture. The acupuncture signal has been shown to be transmitted from the acupuncture point to the brain and brain stem, principally on A delta and C sensory nerve fibers. So as you can see, the A delta are myelinated. They have a sheath around them, which makes them much thicker, but also that insulation makes the signal in the nerve travel much faster. And the C fiber is amyelinated. And so it's a slower signal. Principally, uh, the A delta fibers uh, react to mechanical and thermal stimuli, C fibers to mechanical, thermal, and also chemical stimuli. The speed of a transmission on the A delta fibers is between 600 and 3000 centimeters per second. On C fibers, 50 to 200. The sort of sensation that's transmitted on A delta is what we call classic pain. So fast, sharp pain that makes you want to pull away. The sort of sensations on C fibers are described as slow, dull, poorly localized, chronic, and burning. Now for acupuncturists, we look at that and immediately see that some of those C fiber sensations sound a little familiar. One other interesting thing is propagated sensations along a channel. Do they travel on A delta fibers? Do they travel on C fibers? And the answer is neither, because propagated sensations travel much more slowly than either an A delta or a C fiber sensation. The other clue, of course, is that propagated sensations can be experienced in phantom limbs. And so it's definitely not going down a nerve. The other clue is propagated sensations can follow pathways where there is no nerve, for example, down the midline of the abdomen. And so I think it's fairly safe to hypothesize that propagated sensations are not sensations traveling down fibers, up the leg, down the leg. They are actually experiences in the somatosensory cortex of the brain in the areas where they appear to occur in the body, which is not really that unusual because pretty well everything that we believe we feel, whether it's a pain in the toe uh, or an itch on our hand, it's still an event in the somatosensory cortex of the brain. The pain gate theory was first developed by Melzack and Wall, published in 1965. At this point, a lot of people went, aha, so that's how acupuncture works. It's the pain gate. Melzack and Wall themselves in this original article to their credit said, yes, there does appear to be a pain gate operating in the dorsal horn of the spine, which either allows a pain sensation through or blocks it. But this is probably mediated by higher centers and history has proven that they were right. So this is basically an expression of that original pain gate uh, popular idea, not actually what Melzack and Moore said, but what people thought they said. And so there we have our woolly mammoth, that's odd, my neck suddenly feels better. And so another sensation, a pain in the butt, literally, is somehow curing a headache. So the analogy is of a set of points in a railway system. So the acupuncture signal is heading towards this junction. The pain signal is heading towards this junction. If the acupuncture signal goes through, the pain sensation is blocked. So this is occurring in the dorsal horn of the spine. But what determines which signal goes through? Well, for the Thomas the Tank fans, it's the fat controller. The person who controls the signals and sets the points to allow one signal to go through and the other to be blocked. So if we look at that description we saw a moment ago of the C fiber sensations being dull and poorly localized, uh, not that sharp ouchy pain. And so that sharp ouchy pain in the Chinese called Tung. And 
the other dirty sensations that are classically described, Zhang Jung Swan Ma, so excuse my lack of tones, distending, heavy, sore, achy, or numb. And so essentially they're all C fiber sensations. So we could say that it's a C fiber signal blocking the A delta, or if you want to put it another way, Dirchi blocking Tung. Now, of course, this is not the whole story. And again, some of the early interpretations of how acupuncture works for pain was a more painful signal is blocking the pain signal, which of course is not true because Dirchi is not worse, a worse experience than Tung. And the other reason why this is not a complete explanation is because we have techniques which relieve pain, which don't necessarily involve Dirchi. There are styles of acupuncture where Dirchi is not part of the equation, and yet they're still effective.